Hey, what's up everyone? It's Alia Chanel Scott here and I am a super, super proud alum of Ovation. Uh, I actually just finished up touring with the Book of Mormon Broadway National Tour, which like everything happening now was canceled. Um, so to all of you kids in the program, my heart goes out to you, especially the seniors. I know you've worked so hard for the past few years just to have it come to a bit of a weird ending, but how cool is it that we get one more opportunity to hear your voices and to celebrate you all. Um, so without further ado, here is final mic check. Hi, I'm Emmy Dewey. I've been in the program for four years. Let's see, I've been in Mary Poppins. That was bad. Godspell, Ragtime, Pajama Game, Cinderella, In the Heights, as Daniela, and in Hello Dolly, I was Dolly. <laughs> Favorite ovation memory. So, it was final night of Hello Dolly, and it was final bows, and I was like, I don't have no tears left to cry. I remember I was like, I'm not going to cry, and then I opened the curtains for one final time, and I did cry. And then I see Mr. Grimm and Mr. E in the pit, which made me cry more, and that was literally the best, and I saw Miss Silva, made me cry more. And um, I saw all my friends, and then I turned around, and we all hugged hands, and everyone was crying, and there's a lot of funny pictures of me and my friends crying, because we're ugly criers. There's nothing wrong with that. There's just not. Okay. <laughs> what should I say to future Ovation students? High school is going to throw many... Many, 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 many curveballs at you. And you're gonna feel like you're alone sometimes. But what I can tell you is that the one place you can always turn to is ovation. Going to rehearsals made me feel better. It's a place that when you feel like everyone is turning away from you, that's the one thing that's not. And the directors, you can always go to the directors. Mr. E just came in, he helped me through so much. Mr. Grimmett's always there to laugh, make you laugh, literally. He'll scream and you might giggle. It's just when you like roar. I can't help myself, okay? I laugh at everything. It's not my fault. It's genetic or something. Woo! This is getting good! <laughs> I just wanna say, that what I'm gonna sing, I've already sang at a final mic check, but the part where I'm going to sing it from is to all my ovation people. And I just wanna tell you, I will always, always love you. Serious, dead serious. I love ovation and I love the people in it. I hope life treats you kind. And I hope you have all you dreamed of And I wish you joy and happiness But above all this, I wish you Hi Ovation, this is Devin, Ovation's choreographer, and you are watching the final mic check. I miss you guys so much. I love you. I miss you. My seniors, the class of 2020, congratulations. You guys did it and you are flying into this crazy new world. Enjoy the ride. So please, 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 please stay safe, wash them hands, and enjoy the show. Hi, my name is 
my name is Erin Greenup. I've been in Innovation for three years, and in those three years, I was in Ragtime, James and the Giant Peach, Cinderella, In the Heights, and Hello, Dolly. My favorite memory <laughs> is, honestly, it has to be Magic Circle. I can't say a lot about Magic Circle because it's a thing. It's kind of like Fight Club. We don't talk about Fight Club, but just the energy that you get from that before every show is phenomenal and it definitely helps with extra energy and nerves and things like that and plus it's just really a lot of fun um my advice for incoming students is honestly just be yourself because it makes things like Finding friends is a lot easier that way in Ovation, I've come to find out. We are one big group, but we also have a bunch of little subgroups within those groups. And that's where people who get a, like have similar personalities, they start to clump together. So if you be yourself right from the get-go, then people who have similar personalities and like your vibes and things like that, they'll come find you and bring you into the group. And it's like, oh... That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Ovation is, compared to other theater companies, is a lot more linked. Like, it's a lot more inclusive of everybody, uh, cast, crew, all grades, it does not matter. So, like, it's super easy in there to just let go, cut loose, do whatever you want to do. I'm going to be singing uh, This Is Gospel by Panic at the Disco, so... This is gospel for the fallen ones locked away in permanent slumber Assembling their philosophies from pieces of broken memories Oh, 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 oh. Through gnashing teeth and criminal tongues conspiring against the eye but they haven't seen the best of us yet If you love me, let me go If you love me, let me go Cause these words are not and often leave scars The fear of falling apart Truth be told, that never was yours The fear, the fear falling apart <laughs> okay that's it bye what to say about the seniors oh man y'all are amazing people inside and out y'all <laughs> i'm gonna miss y'all i'm gonna miss y'all when y'all leave um but i just want to thank y'all for all the joy and all the laughter and all the comfort that you've given me these past three years and I know y'all are gonna do greater things and gonna change many lives. So thank you for that. And I wish y'all the best, the very best. Hello, I'm Jake. Um, I've been doing Ovation since my sophomore year. My first show was Ragtime. So that was a great first show to have. Uh, then I was in Pajama Games, Cinderella, Mad One of Shio, in the Heights, Hello Dolly, and everybody. So my favorite ovation memory, I'm gonna have two, and they're both from this year. My first one was In the Heights. That show was amazing, and the music was so good, and we were all, like every show, like every cast of a show bonds and like forms like a kind of a family, but like I feel like In the Heights was definitely a really strong bond that all of us had together and like the rehearsal process over the summer and like doing all the dancing and all the long music rehearsals that we had because there's so much music in, in the Heights that was just a really great time and the show was great and I just remember everyone like sobbing at the end and I didn't cry but everyone else did and it almost made me cry I cried later uh, my second memory is Thest Fest. Thest Fest was great I don't think I've ever laughed harder than the bus ride back to Dawson after we went to Thest Fest. Uh, we stayed at the Gaylord Resort, and that was a great place. It was so nice, and I left my retainer there, and I never got a new one. Sorry. 
Okay, so at Fest Fest, um, it was great. We got to see a lot of shows. Some of them were really good, like Matilda. That was a great show. And there were a lot of great workshops that we went to, like the dance classes. I went to one hairspray. I went to two hairspray dance classes, and they were both so much fun. And we did the improv challenge, which was like, it was cool. We were like, we just made this team and we didn't know barely anything about improv. And then we made top eight in the state, which was so random. But we were like, yes, uh, Layla carried our entire team. She was great. She helped us a lot. My advice to incoming Ovation kids would probably be don't like stress yourself out too much about roles or like what you didn't get or what you did get. Everyone comes into auditions with a goal, and that's great if you achieve your goal, and it's great to work towards your goal, but if you don't get the role you wanted, it's really not going to detract from the show and your experience with the show. Like, you are going to have a good time if you're in crew, if you're in the ensemble, if you're in any role. It's all magical, and Ovation is a great place for everyone, not just, like, leading ladies and leading men. For my final mic check, I'm going to be singing I See the Light from Tangled. Now she's here, everything is different. Now she's here, suddenly I know. If she's here, it's crystal clear. I'm where I'm meant to go. And at last I see the light. And it's like the fog has lifted. And at last I see the light. And it's like the sky is new, and it's warm and real and bright, and the world has somehow shifted all at once. Everything is different now that I see you. Thank you, Ovation. Thank you, Mr. Grimmett. Thank you, Mr. E. Thank you, Miss Daniel. Thank you, Miss Peterson. Thank you, Mr. Devin. Thank you, Miss Silva. Thank you, Miss McCravey. Thank you, Miss Doris. Thank you everybody for three years of a lot of fun and laughter and love and making amazing art. And in the future, I can't wait to see what happens. I'm gonna keep going to the shows cause Ben's there and I'm so excited. Hi guys, it's Laura Osnes, and this is my pup, Lila. Um, I played Cinderella in the original Broadway cast of Rodgers and Hammerstein's Cinderella in 2013, and you are watching Final Mic Check. Impossible, things are happening every day. Mwah. Hi, my name is Shirlene Mathoni and I've been involved in Dawson Ovation Theater since 2016. Some of the productions that I've been in is 39 Steps, Mary Poppins, Plan a Day 2017, um, Ragtime, Pajama Game, Cinderella, Pop Show 2019, In the Heights, Fest, um, and Hello Dolly. My favorite Ovation memory is... So, there's two. So, um... We had Cinderella rehearsal right after school on a Friday. We were doing the last um, chorus number for the whole show and we were all obviously tired and we wanted to go. And <laughs> Mr. Grimmett got so angry that he growled at us, literally just stopped talking and just started growling. Like it was the funniest thing ever. And the second one would be, um, during Hello Dolly, we were doing the last, <laughs> the last chorus number. Uh, we were doing bows, actually. No, yeah, we were doing bows, and <laughs> we were all kind of um, a little bit tired. We were all in our costumes, of course, so like it was a dress rehearsal. Mr. Grimmett again was yelling at. We love Mr. E, but Mr. Grimmett again was yelling at us, and we literally could not hold our laughs. Like he looked at John. Like John Page was about to start laughing, and. Um, he looked at John, he stopped talking, he looked at John Page and he said, I swear if you guys are gonna laugh, and then he said something, I don't really remember what it was, but it was so funny, um, because we were all, like, all of us were ready to laugh. We love and respect our theater director, but that was so funny. One thing that I tell students coming into this program is just be yourself. Um, there's really no room for judgment in this program, uh, I feel like everybody makes mistakes. Everybody goes through what they have to. 
um and really just be yourself like there's no reason you shouldn't want to at least um an another thing i'd say is i personally found my forever friends um in this program and just be outgoing uh try your best at least um to be outgoing to put yourself out there to um just make sure you are the strongest you could be for yourself not just for other people i know like there's a lot of pressure and then there's a lot of like of course you want this part everybody wants this part blah blah, blah. but like you need to be able to put yourself out there the way that you know yourself you don't want to put yourself in a position where you're not being yourself and that's pretty much all i'd say the singing speechless by michael jackson okay your love is magical that's how i feel but i have not the words here to explain gone is a grace for expressions of passion and there are worlds and worlds of ways to explain to tell you how i feel but i am speechless hi what is up seniors i'd like to say thank you for these past two years they have truly been amazing thank you for being so accepting of anyone that comes into ovation and all the memories we have created from calling mr grimmett chef spontaneous beach trips handshakes and late night and early morning food runs they have all been truly amazing and they will all hold a special place in my heart love y'all peace out Hi, my name is Avery Sanderlin. I've been in Ovation for three years. I was in Ragtime, Cinderella, Hello Dolly, um, In the Heights, and Everybody. My favorite memory in Ovation was actually the opening night to Hello Dolly, where I came out on stage and I could just feel the audience and feel all their energy and everything that they had enjoyed up until when I first went on stage and getting, and like, I could feel that like start, starting to boost up our performance and getting to experience that sort of feeling with the rest of the ensemble and the cast and the crew to like behind me to like push me up and like help me be Horace Vandergelder. That sort of experience is what I love about Ovation and getting to experience that with all my friends in Ovation was just probably one of the best memories of my life. Advice for freshmen, love each other. Love, love the time that you have together because it's gonna be gone before you know it. I know all the seniors are gonna say this every single magic circle but if you love each other and put aside your differences and put aside any conflicts you have and just love each other, you're gonna have a much better experience in Ovation and it's gonna give you new friends and it's gonna give you a family at Dawson High School that you wouldn't have had otherwise. And now a concert. Say you'll share with me one love, one lifetime. Say the word and I will follow you. Share each day with me, each night, each morning. Anywhere you go, let me go to Christine, that's all I ask of you. Hi Ovation, this is Miss Holt, principal at Dawson High School, and this is Final Mic Check. I just want to give a shout out to my seniors, class of 2020, who have over the last four years made me laugh and made me cry, but more than anything made me proud. Every show I went to, every time I got to see you perform, uh, you're just amazing. And I can't wait to see what you're going to do as you move forward. But you'll always be an eagle, so come back and see us anytime.
Now enjoy the show. Hi, everybody. My name is Lily Lou, and I've been a part of Ovation for three years. The productions that I've been in are Ragtime, Cinderella, Pajama Game, In the Heights, and Hello Dolly. One of my favorite memories would have to be from one of the mic checks during Hello Dolly. Um, all of us just start singing Alabanza from our previous show, In the Heights, and honestly, it just captures how goofy and not serious all of us can be sometimes, but it also shows like all of the love and like memories that we hold together and how we can just like enjoy our moments with each other and just like really cherish them um, because Alabanza was a pretty special song and the fact that like we can sing that like a few months later and like know it and just like still like I don't know it was just special <laughs> that's all I got um advice that I would tell underclassmen and if future students who want to be in ovation is to do everything like try out for everything because you know you may not think that you belong on the stage but you may find a spot in crew or you know you can just like meet new people and your friends that you have for the rest of your life um you know just take those opportunities and put good use to them because sometimes it'll be taken away from you like our senior year um I had never tried out for a pop show chorus and I was like planning on doing that this year but unfortunately pop show and banquet and UIL and all that stuff got cut short and um it really sucked but you know like I have those regrets of not trying out but you don't have to just be a part of it be a part of the moment and be with your friends because that's all that matters is like if you make memories and you're having fun then do that because like I guarantee you burying yourself in homework and books and tests like that's not what makes high school high school just don't take it for granted because you only have four years and you may think that oh that's such a long time but it's really not and it goes by so so fast and you just wish that you had more time with everyone i will be singing t moon from once on this island what i am you made me what you gave i owe but if i look back i'll never go who knows how high those mountains climb? Who knows how deep those rivers flow? I know you're there. That's all I need to know. Choose your dreams with care, T-Moon. Hey seniors, I just wanted to quickly say thank you for everything you guys have done for the theater and for personally helping me when I needed it and giving me advice when I asked for it. You all had such a big impact on my life and it's really sad to see you guys go, but I know you're gonna do wonderful things in the world, so I'm not worried. Thanks for everything, guys. What's up, guys? I'm Aaliyah Will Turner, and I've been in Ovation for three years, and um, my favorite memory would be all of the magic circles, and for all the incoming Ovation students, I would say to don't be afraid to step out of your shell and always have fun in everything you do. Okay, now I'm going to sing. But nothing real can be threatened. True love brings salvation back into me, yeah. With every tear came redemption. And my torture became my remedy. Hey seniors, I want to say thank you for everything you've done for Ovation and how you've inspired me and other people to join it. Ovation wouldn't be the same without you, and it's going to be hard to say goodbye to all of you. But I'm really glad that some of you are making big, bold decisions to join the real world now. 
and I'm really glad that I could spend some time with you during all the shows that I was a part of and I wanted to say thank you for changing me and all of Ovation for to become what it is. Hey guys, it's Kara Samuelson, and some of the shows that I was in would be uh, High School Musical, The 39 Steps, uh, Mary Poppins, Godspell, Ragtime, uh, The Pajama Game, Cinderella, In the Heights, and uh, Hello Dolly. And um, gosh, uh, some of the best uh, memories that I have. Um, of the program would be uh, singing and goofing off backstage with some of my most uh, loved friends and uh, supporting our um, friends on stage by, you know, making funny faces at them or belting silently, <laughs> um, really dramatically backstage. And uh, just those, those fun moments that you can't always capture on camera uh, or see behind the curtains um, that I, I miss those moments the most. I'll treasure those. Um, some advice I want to give to incoming freshmen or new people to the program would be um, to be yourself and to be bold and know that that's enough. You don't need to come into the program and change everything about you or change who you are or just little things about you to feel like you need to uh, fit in or fit a certain standard. You know, I would say don't um, feel like you need to change for the program, but try and change the program in a positive way. You know, we, we always need to improve. And while doing that, we can, you know, carry on the legacy of the uh, program and continue to be uh, loving and welcoming to everyone and showcasing everyone's gifts and talents. But while doing that, uh, you know, remaining true to who we are and not feeling like, you know, we're not enough because that's not true. So be bold, be yourself, uh, and love those around you. When you feel down in life, drowning in grief and strife, just remember the one who gave you life. I know you want to mope. You feel like you're losing hold, but keep your head and don't give up hope, cause God's in control. Hey you guys, my name is Darius Wright, proud alumni of Ovation Theater, very first class of 2010. Since then I've been on Broadway in A Bronx Southern Musical and Pretty Woman the Musical. And, um, well, between you and me, I have a super secret Broadway show number three coming up really soon. Well, that's it for me. This is your final mic check. Enjoy the show. Hello, my name is Erin McSpadden, and I have been in Ovation for four years. Uh, the shows that I've been in are High School Musical, 39 Steps, Mary Poppins, Godspell, Ragtime, Pajama Game, Cinderella, In the Heights, Hello Dolly, James the Giant Peach, Macbeth, uh, Wad uh, Mad Woman of Shio, and everybody. So I would say one of my favorite memories from Ovation is actually just every time that we have a closing night of a show because... It's like a bittersweet feeling of knowing that it's the last time that you're going to be performing that show with your friends. And it's just great because everybody just leaves all their energy and all their effort on the stage. And also it's just, just it's such a sweet feeling to be backstage with um, all, all of our friends just surrounding us. And it's just a great thing to have worked on a show and be able to put it on for an audience. Um, what I would say for any people coming into Ovation is that it's just such a great place to meet friends uh, in high school where it's just such an uncertain time in people's lives, but uh, everyone that is in Ovation just comes together and puts all their effort and energy into putting on a show. And it's just so much fun to spend time with everybody at rehearsals and stuff. And uh, definitely my favorite memories of high school in general are from Ovation. 
Um, so I'm so happy, like, I'm so happy to have had the experience of being in Ovation for all four years. It's just something that has been really important in my, in my life. Now I'm going to be singing, um, There Is Music In You from Cinderella. Beyond the voice that keeps insisting no, there is something more than doubting. Breaking through the darkness, something that sets your world aglow. Move a mountain, light the sky, make a wish come true. There everybody. Hey seniors, I just want to say thank you for everything you've done this year. I'm going to miss you all so much. I have no idea what it's going to be like without you here. You all inspire me to work so much harder than I normally do. So I just, I really want to thank you for that. And thank you so much for making Ovation feel like a family. I love you guys. Hi, I'm Dustin. I've been in Ovation for three years. Yeah. Um, I've been in shows like Godspell, Ragtime, Pajama Game, James and Giant Peach, Cinderella, In the Heights, and Hello Dolly, along with the OAPs. Oh, my favorite memory was... Um, it'd, it'd be from James and Giant Peach, just as a whole, because that... That's really when I met a lot of people that I'm close with, and I also really broke out of my shell then to become, I guess, a relatively more outspoken person. Not really, though. What's the next question? Oh, what do I want to pat? Oh. Huh. Um, I guess the knowledge that I want to pass on would just be to... I don't know, just include everyone in everything. I don't know. It's it's a place where, you know, everyone should be invited and should feel welcome at all times. It doesn't matter, like, if it's, like, a bunch of seniors are doing this or a bunch of freshmen are doing that. Everyone should feel included, you know? Um, right, and now it's time for my song. Um, I'm going to be singing uh, I Won't Send Roses. Um... Yeah. Forget my shoulder when you're in need. Forgetting birthdays is guaranteed. And should I love you, you would be the last to know. I won't send roses. And roses suit you so. Deuces. Hey seniors, just wanted to say thank you for all the good times and keep working hard because you're going places. Hi, I'm Lauren Kimio. Um, I've been involved in Ovation since my freshman year. Going into high school, Ovation was like the thing I was most looking forward to because it just looks so much fun. The first show I ever saw was Beauty and the Beast and that was like a game changer. And it honestly was probably one of the best shows like Dawson's ever done. It was insane. Either it was a year or like the summer after that school year, um, auditions for High School Musical came out or the audition cuts. And once the cast list came out, only like a handful of freshmen were picked. I, I, I didn't even expect to get in since um, I just always heard that only like a few freshmen get in or barely any freshmen get in or freshmen don't get into shows. But clearly that has changed. But just like back like three, four years ago. Um, so I was stoked to find out I was 
going to be cast in High School Musical. Um, the shows I've been in were, so that was my first, a High School Musical, Mary Poppins. Sophomore year, it was Godspell. That was so much fun. Ragtime. And Ragtime. Yeah. And junior year, it was Pajama Game, Cinderella. And then senior year was In the Heights and Hello Dolly. My favorite ovation memory is, I have a couple, cause there's like funny ones and then there's like sentimental ones. So the first like memorable memory that I can think of is freshman year. It was the closing night of Mary Poppins and we were all, we were doing curtain call and we were all holding hands Everyone was so sad and I was like kind of confused. I was like, why is everyone so emo, you know? Like, <laughs> I remember looking to the seniors and they were all bawling and I was just kind of confused, but like, that's just when it all kind of made sense how much this program means to people and um, how special this program is because there's not many places or programs on and off campus that are this special and have this close of a bond. That was when I realized how much this program means to me or how much this program will mean to me also because I knew that I was going to get so close to all these people that are in the program and that I really shouldn't take these for granted because they look pretty sad leaving the program. It's like the last show. Other memory is the closing night of Godspell. During Godspell, um, it was a really small cast and that just allowed us to get like really close. During the closing night of Godspell, there, <laughs> there was a malfunction with the mics. It was during my solo. <laughs> my song was about to start and then the mics were like, they made like a crazy, super loud sound, and then they just turned off. And then we were all just like, the whole cast was like, what's going on? What should we do? It was like the f funnest thing ever because um, I think Noah Welch started singing the Jeopardy song. And it was really funny. And then we all started singing along and then the crowd started singing along. I wasn't even scared that it was gonna ruin the show because I was just happy that I was on stage with all these people and I like had no doubt that we would find a way to fix it and that even if the mics didn't work the rest of the show that we would work something out because I believed in us. I have some other funny memories. One like more recent memory is um, <laughs> when we went to Thes Fest. I don't remember exactly what Layla said, but <laughs> she was like, blah, 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 Joe. Or like, what happened to Joe or something? And then we were like, Layla, don't do it, don't say it. Mr. Grimmett was like, who's Joe? And then Layla screamed, Joe Mama at the top of her lungs. And it was hilarious. <laughs> so we were all like laughing. And it just, like, little stuff like that just made, like, the bus ride to Thespets, like, so much more enjoyable. We were on the bus for, like, four hours, so I think we were all kind of loopy at that point. But, yeah, that was funny. Okay, my last memory is my favorite memory. I know, I just think it's the funniest memory. It was during Cinderella. We were blocking the wedding scene with the entire cast of the whole show. I think it was like a Friday after school rehearsal, so everyone was like out of it. So basically people weren't paying attention and Mr. Grimmett wasn't having it. I would too, if I was trying to wrangle like 60 kids. So we were all talking, I guess. <laughs> and then Mr. Grimmett just like roars. I don't know, like a lion or something. We were all like, <laughs> did that man just roar at us? And it was so funny. None of us were like scared, but he really roared at us. <laughs> so yeah, that's my last memory. I would tell the students coming into this program that I know everyone is gonna say this, but I'm just gonna say it again. Um, don't take it for granted because it just couldn't be more true. It literally feels like yesterday that 
I was auditioning for my first musical at Ovation. And it just goes by so quickly because you ha- you're having so much fun. But it sucks when you, like, look back and it's all gone, you know? There's just not many places like Ovation where there's a community where everyone loves each other so intensely and every night we get to present our show to like the audience it doesn't even matter if there's an audience or not because we're creating magic on the stage and it's just really cool the reason why our shows are so good is because our bond with each other every time i'm on stage i forget that i'm there sometimes because i feel like i'm just like doing something i'm doing with my friends like some people go out i mean don't we all like go out on a friday night with your friends or whatever but what we like to do with our friday nights is put on a show and just like have a blast it's just kind of weird thinking about that it's over and you can't do it again because it's only a four-year thing just cherish every moment that you have with the people around you and hopefully it'll make time seem a lot slower <laughs> i'm going to be singing i have nothing by whitney houston for final mic check i sing this song for the actual final mic check but i was just crying like a ton because we just came back from our last magic circle so i just want to do it again so don't make me close one more time i don't want to hurt anymore stay in my arms if you dare i must i imagine you there don't walk away from me no i have nothing 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 if i don't have you hey seniors i just wanted to take this time to thank y'all for being such a great class to kind of grow up with in high school because y'all have always been above my uh or at least my class and Y'all have always been there and y'all kind of taught me like the ropes when it came to ovation and everything else regarding high school and I can't be more thankful for all the memories that I have and y'all have just inspired me so much with all of y'all's talent and y'all's drive and y'all's hard work and I can't wait to go see what y'all accomplish. Hi. Um, my name is Grace Stanley, and I've been a part of Ovation for four years now. And I've been a part of High School Musical, 39 Steps, Mary Poppins, Ragtime, Pajama Game, and Hello Dolly. I have a lot of memories in Ovation from these past four years. Um, and it's hard to pick just one, but I think my favorite one was from this past production, Hello Dolly. Um, a few of me and my friends would sit in the black box office and we would watch High School Musical the series. Um, I adored just sitting in there and just chatting and just watching um, because it was so organic. I really miss it because it was so much simpler now, like then than now, um, because we're all quarantined and I don't get to see them. So um, yeah, that's my favorite memory. What I want to tell the incoming students coming into Ovation, um, enjoy every moment, every audition, every rehearsal, and every performance. Um, it goes by really fast. It was just, it feels like just yesterday that I was auditioning for High School Musical and I went to my first ever rehearsal and it was, it was magical. I really miss it. Um, it went by in a blink of an eye. And so just enjoy it. And every every performance should feel like the first. Um, the butterflies never go away. Um, I will tell you that now. Um, I always got butterflies when I went on stage for the first time for a production. But please enjoy it. Um, and this is something really small but you are not defined by the roles you get. You're all perfect and talented in ways that I can't express. But I want you to know that 
you belong in the program and you're very talented and Elysian is a family that's all that matters um, so please enjoy it and just realize how talented you guys are for my song I will be singing Selfish by Madison Beer shouldn't love you but I couldn't help it had a feeling that you never felt it always knew that you were too dang selfish don't know why I look the other way yeah, yeah. wanted you to change it shouldn't love you but I couldn't help it always knew that you were too dang selfish thank you Seniors, I can't believe it's the end of the year and I won't be seeing you guys in school anymore. But so I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for being such a kind, loving, and encouraging class. I've had the privilege of getting to know you guys a lot more this year. I'm so grateful for it and my life has significantly benefited from it. We all know that I will be crying because you guys are gone, but I know that y'all are going to do better and amazing things in your lives. And thank you for making this program what it is today. Hi everyone, my name is Kylie Del Castillo and I am one of your current 2019-2020 Senior Ovation Officers. Um, I have been involved with Ovation since my freshman year, the summer coming into freshman year, which was really intimidating because I didn't know anyone. But it's fine because I met like my best friends ever, so it was the best decision I ever made. Um, the shows that I've been involved with, starting from freshman year, I've been involved with High School Musical, 39 Steps, Mary Poppins, Godspell, Ragtime, Macbeth, The Pajama Game, Cinderella, The Mad Woman of Shio, In the Heights, Hello Dolly, and everybody. So one of my favorite ovation memories was one day when we were in the black box eating lunch, I can't remember who all was in there, but I just remember that it was Jake, me, Mr. E, and I think Layla was there. And we were talking about Hello Dolly and like the song Put On Your Sunday Clothes and we were talking about how we're gonna have a train on the stage. And so we were just like listening to the song and it gets to the climax and I just remember like there was this whole story that was made up that was like, what if John Silva got impaled by the train and everyone just had to keep on going? Like, Miss Silva had to, like, keep on conducting the orchestra and, like, James had to keep on, like, singing and dancing and Aaron was, like, crying and dancing. That was probably one of my favorite memories. I've, like, never laughed harder. Like, um, that was just so funny. Another one of my favorites was just the whole experience of In the Heights. I absolutely love that show. And I got to get close with a lot of people that I hadn't before. And like Layla, I got really close to her and we became like best friends. Um, so that show really kind of changed my life and I love that show. And just being backstage with everyone was so fun and everyone's energy was always at 1000%. And that show just meant a lot to me for a lot of different reasons. But um, bef even before we did it, but when we actually did it, like it really did change my whole like life and perception on life so um if I could tell anything to the ovation students that are coming in um I would say you will end up where you're supposed to be and, and everything happens for reasons so like if you don't get a role that you want just know that you'll end up where you are supposed to be and you're supposed to be in another role for a reason so maybe you're having a really stressful year and you need like a break so you get put an ensemble and you're like I wanted a lead role but then you're like well this might end up being better and it is better because you meet a lot of friends and whatever so like it, like it might not seem in the moment you know that you know it, it doesn't seem like it was meant to be but you'll realize later on that everything happens for a reason and that you end up where you're supposed to be okay so now I'm going to sing my song. So I'm singing A Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes from Cinderella because I feel like the lyrics really kind of 
apply to the time we're living in right now. And I'm also a huge Disney fan. If you didn't know, you should know. I don't know. It's not really not, it's not really hidden at all. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to sing that. Okay. Have faith in your dreams and someday your rainbow will come smiling through. No matter how your heart is grieving, if you keep on believing the dream that you wish will come true. All right, love you guys. Bye. Hey seniors, congratulations, y'all did it. And I know this is not the farewell that y'all had in mind, but I wanna let y'all know that I love you guys. And y'all have inspired me and changed me for the better. And y'all have been the biggest source of light in my life. And I couldn't ask for any more than that. So thank you so much for being in my lives. God has really blessed me uh, with y'all and man, y'all are going to change the world someday. All right. So class of 2020, peace out. Hi, I'm Layla Villarreal and I have been with Ovation for the past um, two years. The shows that I've done are Cinderella, In the Heights, as Camila, Hello Dolly, and Everybody. My favorite ovation memory, it was the first night of In the Heights, and I remember just being super nervous about like doing the Camila song, even like in rehearsals, like I would just like hate doing it because I was like scared of messing up or just scared it was gonna be bad. And I don't even remember doing it, like during it, could not tell you what happened. I just remember afterwards that like everybody was kind of like clapping and cheering. But I just remember hearing Mr. E and Mr. Grimmett like yelling from the booth. And it meant the entire world to me because like during the whole process, like I would just like doubt myself and just be so scared of doing it. And then like hearing them be so proud of me meant the absolute world to me. My second favorite ovation memory was the last show of Hello Dolly. Um, we were doing our last magic circle with everybody. We all just get so into it, like the beginning part, like there's magic in the theater, the theater's magic. After that line, we all just started, I guess, thinking about how this was really like our last one and we all just started crying and it kind of like sunk in at that moment. It was a very happy moment, very tender moment, but it's also very sad. Something I want to tell future Ovation students or people coming into Ovation is um, to prepare for a lot of love there is so much love in that group of people, so much love to give and be given. Like there's so many times in high school that you try and find who you are and find where you belong. And I can attest to like, it takes a long time. And um, when I got into Ovation and you know, I knew all of the great people that I know now, I, my whole high school career, I've never felt it, but I truly, truly felt like I was where I belonged. I really did not want to do that. Um, anyways, <laughs> when you come into Ovation, just prepare for all the love that you're, you're going to be given. There may be times when you don't want it. Nobody's got you like you've got you, but Mr. E told me once when I said that, um, <laughs> that it takes a village and 
now I believe him. <laughs> Don't tell him that. So, like, we're obviously going through a really weird time. Weird, unlike, unprecedented time. You know, some people say everything happens for a reason. And it's hard to find the reason for, like, this happening. I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of memories that can be made. But, I mean, it doesn't mean that we're not all thinking about each other. It doesn't mean that we're not all here for each other. It's hard to find the reason, but, you know, Ovation gave me a reason for what I want to do and who I want to be. And so this song is called You Are The Reason. And if I could turn back the clock I'd make sure the light defeated the dark I'd spend every hour of every day Keeping you safe And I'd climb every mountain And swim every ocean Just to be with you what's been broken no cause I need you to see that you are the reason thank you Ovation for everything everything that you've given me and just know that <laughs> you are the reason bye Hello there, Ovation Theater High School seniors. I'm Jen Colella from the original Broadway cast of Come From Away, and you're watching Final Mic Check. <laughs> Hey, my name is Willie Yusuf. I've been a part of Ovation since I was a sophomore in high school. I joined 24 hour play for the first time. That was my first ever show. It was my gateway into being in Ovation because I didn't I didn't know anything about it. I was just there because I was like, all right, cool, it sounds fun. And then I went and I did it. And then after going on stage for the first time, I was so scared. I was like, I can't go on stage. I don't know any of my lines. I'm not gonna remember them. And a senior pushed me and they were like, you gotta do it. You know your lines, just slow down, trust yourself, get up there. And I did, and when the crowd was clapping and laughing throughout the skit, I was like, oh my God, Like this is what I wanna do. I wanna make the crowd laugh. I wanna be the reason on this stage that they're out there enjoying themselves. And that was the gateway for me to go into all these other shows like uh, Cinderella, In the Heights, uh, Mad Woman of Shio, Everybody, Ragtime, all of them. And um, that was really, that, that's my best memory. And that's what got me to go into all these other shows. Um, if I were to give one piece of advice to the incoming class, I would tell them don't dwell on the past because you can't change what's happened. Uh, don't look too far into the future, you might get lost. And stay in the present. Pay attention to the present because you only get one life. You shouldn't waste your time living it elsewhere. Just be in the moment, enjoy yourself, and always remember, if you're not having fun, what's the point? So always push yourself to go out of your comfort zone, but at the end of the day, you gotta do what you enjoy and what makes you happy. You can count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, you'll be there. And that's how friends are supposed to be, oh yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Peyton, but you already know that. But um, I'm here to thank all the seniors for playing up with me for, uh, well, last year and then half of this year um 
it was it was fun it, we had fun times from the weird relationship scandal with layla all the way up until evie blamed me be hello dolly for one night uh she still doesn't know so um to everyone that ever did anything for me and made me laugh and everything thank you My name is Abby Furr. I've been involved with Ovation ever since my sophomore year. I've been in, in Ragtime, okay, Cinderella, In the Heights, and Hello Dolly. Um, my favorite memory with Ovation has to be the poster party for In the Heights. Adam had just started driving, so we were in his car. And I remember Aaron Green up being there in there. So I don't remember exactly who else was in the car, but it, it was a month, like it was either like Laura. Alex, Jamie, or Sora. I don't remember what combination of that was. I, I love all of them. So we were assigned the Marco's Pizza area and we went over there and a lot of the places were closed for some reason. And so we had a lot of leftover posters and we were just like, what are we gonna do with these posters? And so what we ended up doing was going over to um, Old Pearland and they let us put up a few posters and then we went across the train tracks and to Busy Bee and they let us put one up too and that was really cool. I actually almost uh, stole their tape because they gave us tape to put up the poster and like we got back out to the car and I was just like, I still have tape. And they were just like, Abby, go get the tape back. And I'm just like, that wasn't our best deal, was it? Um, after that, it was getting pretty late and so we decided to get dinner somewhere and so we all like voted on Whataburger. <laughs> we got our food and sat and talked for so long, like laughed and talked for a good hour or two. And it was really, really fun, it was great. And so like on the way back to, from, to Dawson, uh, we blasted music the whole way, singing at the top of our lungs, laughing, having a great time. I was just so happy that day. Like I, I don't know. I have so many good memories with Ovation, but that's definitely one of the top ones. For my advice to incoming Ovation members, I actually wrote this down. I know Mr. E said not to read off of a script or have it scripted, but like, I really liked what I wrote down, so I'm gonna read it to y'all. Okay, my advice to future Ovation students is to put themselves out there without fear. If you stay within your comfort zone, then you will only accomplish what you think is possible. Do things that put you out of your comfort zone. Dance like no one is watching in your auditions, because we all look a little bit like a fool in our dance audition, unless you're one of the people who are really good at it. Uh, don't be afraid to like feel the music when you're singing it, cause, or just going all out for it, cause like even if you don't think you might get a role, like it's good for the it's good for the directors to see like who you are. It's just really cool to see someone like let go like that. Participate full heartedly in Magic Circle, even though you may feel a little foolish. Just do it. Just learn it as fast as you can and just let loose because we all we, we all look like a fool during magic circle i'm gonna just tell you this program is a big beautiful silly loving force of chaos and being a part of it is the best thing that's ever happened to me one of my biggest regrets from fresh from just high school in general was freshman year when i you know, thought I couldn't handle theater. I, like, they auditions for Mary Poppins, which is actually one of my favorite musicals. And I decided not to do it because I was a lame freshman and didn't think that I could handle it or it wasn't good enough. I don't know what was going through my head back then. But ever since I joined Ovation, I've, I've been able to find who I am, if that makes sense. Like, it's helped me find friends. It's, it's helped me be more vocal and it's helped me be more comfortable in social settings and stuff like that because I had like major anxiety back then and I'm gonna miss it okay I'm gonna stop I'm not gonna cry I'm not gonna cry what I'm singing is a clip from all I've ever known from Hades Town because they said you could either pick a pop song or a Broadway song and I like Broadway songs more don't come for me all I've ever known is how to hold my own but now I want to hold you now go now I want to hold you hold you tight I don't want to go back to the lonely life thank you ovation hey 
Hey seniors, I can't believe you're all about to graduate and leave us. It's so sad, but so exciting because I can't wait to see what amazing things you'll accomplish in your future. Thank you for all the memories that we've made together and I wish you good luck and I hope that you do everything your heart desires. Hey, it's me, John. Here doing my final mic check. So over the course of my four years in Ovation, I have done so many shows. Some of the highlights have been Mary Poppins, Godspell, um, Ragtime. Oh, In the Heights was one of my favorites. Um, Pajama Game, uh, Macbeth, and really, to me, it really didn't matter what show we did because I love the program so much. Over the last four years in Ovation, I've learned a lot and I'm very glad I got to have the experience. And um, some of my best memories were dancing in the parking lot with some of my best friends after a long rehearsal. You know, as I move out, I start to realize things I should tell um, the incoming students and students that are continuing into the program. And I guess one thing I would say is don't come into the audition like expecting or thinking the directors are expecting something. Come in, do your best, show them what you have to give. And, and you know, you never know what's going to happen. They're not looking for a certain thing that you could show them something that could completely wow them. And then, and then now your whole idea, their whole idea has changed and you could have like the lead in the show or something on top of being yourself and, you know, not trying to, fit into a box that you think they want you in, I would say, and this is something Mr. Grimm and Mr. E preach a lot, is love each other because Ovation, out of every program in that building, Ovation is the most kind, loving program ever, and you're going to meet some of the greatest people ever. And truly cherish those people and treat them how you would want to be treated. Treat them how you would treat your mom or or your sibling, or someone you really care about, because these are some of the greatest people you're going to meet. Like, some of my friends are like my lifelong friends now, and I'm beyond blessed to have them in my life. But there's really no one set piece of advice that you could tell someone coming into the program, but just enjoy your time and really appreciate it for what it is. And right now, I'm going to sing Bridge Over Troubled Water, because it's Still to this day one of my favorite songs, even though I learned it sophomore year, but here we go. When you're down and out, when you're on the street, my Lord, when evening falls so hard, I will comfort you. I'll take your part. Oh, when times get rough. Hi, Ovation Theater. I'm Mandy Gonzalez. I played Nina in the original Broadway cast of In the Heights. And you're watching Final Mic Check. And thank you for everything I know. Stay safe. Stay fearless. Bye. Hi, my name is Morgan Clazel. I've been in Ovation for four years and I'm a current officer. And I have been in The 39 Steps, Mary Poppins, Pinocchio, Ragtime, Macbeth, The Pajama Game, James the Giant Peach, Cinderella, The Mad Woman of Shio, In the Heights, Hello Dolly, and everybody. This is crazy. <laughs> That's most of what I have to say. Um, I didn't think, and I'm sure none of us thought, that our senior year would be ending this way. Uh, we thought we would get to have a final performance. We thought that we would get to give everyone a real goodbye, but things didn't go as planned. Um, I'm so grateful for the directors giving us the platform to really say goodbye and um, put all our thoughts out there. Ovation has been such a big part of my high school career. Um, I can honestly say I wouldn't be who I am today without Ovation. 
I'm a lot more confident, I'm a lot more outgoing, I'm able to perform a lot better. If you had seen me freshman year, I was a completely different person. But you know, that's what high school is about. You grow and you change as a person and Ovation has definitely helped me to do that in a very positive way and I really can't believe it's over. My favorite Ovation memory, I would have to say, I mean, I have a lot of them, but the OAP competitions during the Mad Woman of Shio definitely had to be some of the best times I've had. You know, just the Mad Woman of Shio in general, the cast and the crew and everyone was just so close. We had such a great bond. We could literally joke about any situation. Like, I remember there was one time a bird flew into the theater, then Mr. Grivet literally <laughs> spent the beginning of rehearsal yelling at the bird. Um, and when Jake and Waleed made the Spongebob musical and uh, <laughs> we all went crazy over Wah, we played it every chance we could get. You know, just stuff like that is what makes Ovation home and it turns it into a family. I miss all those people, I miss those times, and I'm so sad we didn't get to have them with everybody uh, because I know it would have been just as fun. The thing that I want future students to know is don't be afraid to give your all to whatever you do. And this can apply to people with lead roles, people with small parts, people in the ensemble, people backstage. Um, being an ovation is such a big commitment. Uh, we all know this. There are so many rehearsals, so many hours you put in to creating this big performance and you're really going to get the most out of it and grow the most as a person and as a performer or whatever you want to do if you give everything you can to what you're doing. Don't hold back. And I know that I made this mistake a lot in the beginning because I was scared to put myself out there, but I think towards the end I've done a much better job of really uh, putting myself out there and giving my everything to what I'm doing and I've gotten a lot more out of the experience. I'll be singing Rather Be by Clean Bandit. We're a thousand miles from comfort. We have traveled land and sea. But as long as you are with me, there's no place I'd rather be. I would wait forever, exalted in the scene. But as long as I am with you, my heart continues to be. With every step we take, he yodeled to the bass, strolling so casually. We're different and the same, gave you another name, switched up the batteries. If you gave me a chance, I would take it. It's a shot in the dark, but I'll make it. No, with all of your heart, you can shame me. When I am with you, there's no place I'd rather be. Hey seniors, it's Mr. E, and I just wanted to say thank you so much for helping me make this video by sharing your stories and your advice and your talents with us. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying it. And I really wanted to say, most of all, thank you for sharing this department with me. Uh, coming in as a new teacher can be really scary, especially when you guys have such deeply formed relationships already, but y'all made me feel so welcome from day one, and I can't thank you enough. Uh, you are one of the most special classes I've ever had the privilege to work with. Uh, I love you guys. Please come visit. Hi everybody, um, my name is Kayla Jimenez. I have been in Ovation for about two and a half years. You've seen me in three musicals, one pop show, and I'm also one of the six national qualifiers from the Texas State Thespian Festival representing Dawson High School. Um, I've been Ragtime, Cinderella, and Hello Dolly. If I had to pick 
one ovation memory um i can never pick just one but um right now all i'm thinking about are like cinderella rehearsals those are like really fun <laughs> cinderella was a great show it was definitely my favorite show that i did um it was just so magical and going through the rehearsals and actually having to find the magic for yourself and understand why cinderella is so magical why it's such a good story it was just so fun the rehearsals were always full of laughter we were always goofing off doing something getting growled at <laughs> we definitely had our days but cinderella cinderella rehearsals specific specifically <laughs> would be my favorite ovation memory to any future ovation members um i just want to say don't ever be afraid to go for it when it comes to theater um i always told myself i wasn't going to be a theater kid somebody got me up there to audition for ragtime that was my first show and after that like once you join ovation there's, there's kind of no way out um <laughs> definitely a family um so to you guys to all you underclassmen and all you future ovation students i just want to say always be yourself always be kind and always look forward to having a good time um there's been days where i come into rehearsal i've had a horrible day and i come into rehearsal at six o'clock or at 5 30 and my whole like mood is just changed upside down like i'm I'm ready to have fun i'm ready to be with my ovation family have a good time and that's just what it is like you have to be prepared for that like sometimes you might not want anybody to ask you what's wrong or help you with your problems but that's that's what it is that's what family is that's what family does and that's what ovation is um there's never been a day where if i look down that somebody didn't ask me if i was okay whether even if i didn't know their name like kayla are you okay <laughs> so i would definitely say just um just be prepared to be a part of a family be prepared to have a good time so that's what it's gonna be it's gonna be a roller coaster it's gonna be a really really fun one the song i'm singing is an older song probably from like the 90s i think um it's about boys to men it's just a song about like coming to an end i guess because that's what i'm doing coming to the end of my road with ovation although we've come to the end of the road still i can't let go it's unnatural you belong to me i belong to you go to the end of the road still i can't let go it's unnatural you belong to me i belong to you yep there it is <laughs> final mic check um sucks it has to be done this way but very thankful for ovation. I'm out. Hi, seniors. It's Mr. G. I just want to say thanks for three wonderful years together. A lot of laughs, a lot of love, some tears, some growling, some roaring, some laughing at me while I'm growling and roaring. But I know that truly the best is yet to come. Thank you for sharing your lives with me. I love you all. Hi, welcome to my vlog. <laughs> okay. My name is Alyssa Grover. I am a senior this year, class of 2020. There's an ant, there's an ant, oh my God. I've been a part of Ovation since the summer before freshman year because High School Musical, 
Um, what a fun way to start <laughs> my theater career. High School Musical was the summer musical for freshman year. So since then, I've been a part of 39 Steps, Mary Poppins, um, Ragtime, Cinderella, Plan the Day Festival for 2017 and 2019, Pop Show for 2019, James and the Giant Peach, Mad Woman of Shio. I've done quite a few and I don't regret any of them. My favorite ovation memory. This is a hard one because to me, when you boil ovation down to its most basic components, it's just a bunch of friends hanging out, goofing off, and making art with two directors who also goof off and make art. So having to choose one specific memory, my favorite one, I, I don't know, it's, it could be just a random lunch in the black box, sitting down and making up dumb games. It could be um, backstage during one of the long rehearsals, just doing something completely not on task. But one memory that I guess is really important to me, I hold it pretty close, I always go back to it, is the closing night of Mary Poppins. So it was the final magic circle of my freshman year. All of the seniors were giving their, um, their senior speeches, you know. Um, emotions were running high and I was sitting there with my best friend and we were kind of talking to each other during it and in between speeches and during the really long speeches, this one get, kid gave one that was 20 minutes long and we were like, speak. We were talking and we were like, it's, it was just odd to us how invested these people had become, how distraught they were to leave and how much they expressed just admiration and love for this program and this group of people. And, oh my God, it's fighter. It's fine, he just, it's fine. I think that evening and the whole closing night of Mary Poppins and even just walking back after Magic Circle from the cafeteria to the auditorium and talking with this random senior who was like, I wanna be your best friend. And I was like, I don't know you. Like all these tiny little things that happened that one night, I think that's, it's gotta be my favorite memory of ovation because it just, it, it represents the spark of um, the beginning of a long journey of, I guess, maturity and growth and having fun and making art for the sake of art. And for me, whenever I think back to what like really kept me in ovation, anytime I was about to audition for a show and I was like, I really don't have time for this, should I do it? I kind of thought back to that closing night and how much it was worth, how much ovation was worth to those seniors and how much I wanted it to be worth to me. And now it is. I think that that leads into advice I would give future ovation members because ovation really is what you make of it. If you are there to um, advance your skills as a thespian, learn how to work the um, light board or the sound board, are they both boards? Um, you can. You have the resources necessary, you have very talented students and a pair of dedicated directors who will do everything they can to help you. If you want to get the chance to show off your skills on stage, you probably will do that too. It's very likely you'll do that. If you want to just do it on the side as a way to stay connected to um, your passions, if you want to stay connected to art, you can because that was my case. Um, I am a student who takes a lot of time to study. I, I don't know how to say this. I'm an all AP student, you know, I did, or I guess I was. I did all the honor societies, everything, all the typical traditional Dawson culture nerd stuff. For me, Ovation was the, ch it was my outlet for art. I didn't have anywhere else that I was expected to create and like just, it held me accountable. It made sure I kept up my skills of painting and drawing whenever it came time to set build. It kept up my singing and dancing skills whenever it came time to get the musicals together. And most of all, it just, it let me stay connected to some of the best friends I've ever had. Ovation is a really special organization. Definitely the best one at Dawson. 
no cap. Um, it's really what you make of it. If you think you have no time for it, but you really love it, please stay in, because when you love something this much, you can make time for it, trust me. Um, this is Carry On By Fun. Because we are, we are shining stars, we are invincible, we are who we are. On our darkest days, we're miles away, so we'll come and we'll find our way home. If you're lost and alone, or you're sinking like a stone, carry on. May your past be the sound of your feet upon the ground, and carry on.